Hey guys, I'm LB, and as you can probably tell, we're playing a hammer map called Flip Flop by Lane. This was requested to me by Sunny OST. I think actually Sunny just requested it in general, and I saw it, and it looked neat. So yeah, we'll check it out. The description says a set of five chambers where you use a new testing element to manipulate the gravity of objects and yourself. Video is a playthrough. I think yourself is usually one word, but I guess that works as well. Looks like Nakas played it, and of course Sunny did as well, and lots of people have added their favorites, including Quaternary, Mystical Ace, Afro Melon, aka Conclan, T.S. Mindswept, and Dr. A, who was with us in the live studio. Let's see here. Ooh. Haha! <laughs> Isn't that cool? Neat. So I have to actually move out of it and into it again to trigger it. Right, how do I... how do I actually jump out of here? Is that not a thing I can do? Can I... can I not jump out? I have to portal out? Fine. Be that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that is neat. That is neat. Come on now. I know I can get this cube out of here. Fine, I'll do it the intended way. There, now it's- gravity's been changed. But you might- oh my gosh, why- Why is this so hard to get out of this little area? Why aren't these just at normal height level? Why do you have to put a dip there and a dip there? That- that drives me crazy. This is neat. It's actually really cool. Hmm... Well, if you notice, this is a remake of, uh, the first chamber from Portal 1. That was interesting. How was I even standing there? Apparently I was standing, somehow. There we go, that's better. So what I'm wondering is... Oh, I placed this the wrong way to do what I wanted to do. Let's try rotating this portal now. Come on. I know I'm killing time here, but... I'm gonna try this out. There we go, that should do. What is going on with this cube?! What?! I've never seen a cube do that before. That cube had a song in its head. <laughs> okay then. Right. Maybe I had the portal oriented the correct way after all. I don't know. Come on, there's a way you can trap yourself in Portal 1, I don't remember what it is. You can even do it in the Stanley Parable. Um, which side of the portal is it? Okay, that's the bottom. Okay, so I know what I must do now. I just need to move this green portal further away. That should do. Come on. I know I can do this. I know y'all are probably bored to death. Hey! I did it! Yes! I trapped myself! And the map doesn't even detect it. <laughs> oh, man.
Hey, you, it actually does respawn the cube at least, so that's good. <laughs> right, well, let's stop messing around and actually do this. What? How did- oh, come on now. Fine. Come on. Thank you. There. <laughs> right, so. Need this to get to the exit, apparently. Wait, what? How was I supposed to know that was gonna happen? What? There needs to be some indication of how it's going to change gravity, like it sends me up and then to the side? What? That doesn't even make any sense. Well anyway... Uh... It's pretty clear what we need to do, so... Wait, what? Uh, no. Can't place a portal there, right? Ah, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Here's a question, so... How does it change the way I shoot portals? It does! What? Does it actually move the entire environment? Dude, that's crazy. Is this like the adhesion gel map, where it actually rotates the level? Or does it... How does that work? See, like, there's no indication that this changes the gravity the way it does. What the? Whatever. I was just trying to show that it changed gravity, but, you know. I'm sure you all understand that already. Why does that always send me flying like that? Like, you think we'd get stuck in an infinite loop like that? What? <laughs> that looks so strange! It just looks like you shouldn't be able to do that. You guys have no idea, maybe, but it, uh,. It just blows my mind, just seeing a portal at an odd angle like this on a wall. Like... It might make perfect sense to you, but... In, I've have... How many hours of portals? I have over 700 hours in Portal 2. And I've never once seen this. This is, uh... That's something new to me. So that's... that's... that's cool. <laughs> Right, onward to the next. Come on now. You don't want me to do that, huh? Well, too bad, because I have my ways. <laughs> okay, maybe I don't have my ways. Uh, okay then. Oh right, that's probably the one that puts me back to normal, right? So that wouldn't do anything anyway. I'm dumb. <laughs> like, there needs to be some indication, like, these particles, they can move in the direction that it changes your gravity to, instead of just being guess- Cause right now you just have to guess what it's gonna do whenever you touch one, you have no idea which way it's gonna turn your gravity to. And also, why does it, like, send me flying? Like, why does it send you to the other one? That makes no sense. Right, so. I need to place portals first, clearly. There we go. Ooh, but there's a problem with this situation.
What's up there? Oh, apparently the exit's up there, huh? And what's the cube for? Seems to be walking along here, apparently. Okay. So we still need to get the cube. Not entirely sure how to do that. Like, if this didn't- if this didn't launch me... all the way over there, I could actually do what I want to do. But it launches me through the Fizzler, which doesn't seem like it's supposed to happen. Why does it do that? That makes no sense! It's like, is the map broken or something? That doesn't seem like it's supposed to happen. It's like I'm on a scripted path or something. I don't like that at all. That- that really annoys me. I actually don't see how this is possible. Do I just need to grab the cube? Is that what I need to do? Am I overcomplicating this? Apparently I just need to grab the cube. There we go. There we go, now we can put this here... ...and be done with it, finally. Um, <laughs> don't think I'm supposed to be able to just walk along it like that. <laughs> That's probably unintended. Right, so. Although, how else would you do it? I guess like that, right? Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Nope. That is not what you're supposed to do. Maybe I just need more height. Yeah, that works, I guess. Right, on to the next puzzle. Here we go. This should probably be an actual puzzle now, not just a tutorial. Why does it do that? It literally launches you to the other one. That... I don't like that at all. What the? I've never gotten stuck in a light bridge before! What are you doing to me? You're not supposed to get stuck in light bridges! How can I do this in such a way that it'll block me? Right, I need to- I need to undo this now because I can't shoot the portal properly. There we go, that's what I wanted. Yeah! Now I can break the system. Wait, what? That didn't actually work, did it? Are you kidding me? If you don't actually touch the other panel, it doesn't work? What kind of weird restriction is that? Um...
Did I break the map? I think I broke the map. And they can't shoot portals now. Whatever you did to make this work in such a broken manner, please don't do it again. Yep, I broke the map. Well, this is a trapping situation. What if I touch this guy? Nope. It's- it's literally just busted now. Oh well. That's a weird sight. Let's go back to a save state, probably. An autosave. Alright. Map not broken, excellent. Of course that's still broken. But that's- that's- that's an engine bug. <laughs> oh man, I'll never get tired of that. It's always hilarious. I wonder if it works there as well. Let's find out. Oh! Is that how it works? So it's just teleporting me to an identical chamber. Ah. Well, that explains things. And it doesn't calculate where my portals are... until... Yeah, interesting. <laughs> yep. That is totally still a bug in the game. What the? Why does that keep floating? Oh, is it on the wall, I guess? I can't see the other portal silhouettes from here, but, uh... You can see those! Don't know why I can't see the green one. Right, now, let's actually try solving this, perhaps. Yeah, this'll work. Let's get us some cubes. Wait, that cube's not floating anymore. What happened there? I thought these cubes were both supposed to be floaters. Oh, I think I see how this works. Oh wait, no, I don't see how this works. <laughs> hmm... We need to hit... that thing, right? There we go. There's that hit, at least. And then, what's the best way to deal with this? Oh, come on, that's not intuitive at all. And you know it. I think that we can make that work. Yeah, it's definitely teleporting stuff between rooms. There we go. That'll work. Oh crap. No, don't. Oh gosh! I wanna jump over, thank you. Hmm, that might be a bit of an issue. That might be closer. Oh, come on now. There we go. Can I hit it now? There we go! See? I knew we could do it.
That works. Works for me. Ooh, what happens if we go through there from the other world? I mean, well, yeah, you know what I mean. The other gravity. I'm sure it'll let us, right? What? Why is there finish flags up there? That's- that's not how you're supposed to work. <laughs> okay, well, the stairs are preventing us from doing it, so... They thought that through, I guess. Oh, I almost died there. Oh, I almost died there as well. Now we walk all the way around. There we go. Oh, and there's a fizzler in this version! There wasn't a fizzler in the other version! Illusion ruined! Can I not get up there? What is this? Um... Excuse me. Good sir, I do believe I can easily make this jump. What the? What is up with this? Okay then. That's scary. Oh my. Goodbye, cube! <laughs> Whoa! Doesn't that just scare the bejeebas out of you? Hmm... I'll just put it here for now. Until I know what to do with it. What does that do? Actually, how can I get to any of these? How do I go anywhere here? Huh. Ha! Huh, it's actually affecting the cube inside the dropper. That's, uh, that's a bit buggy. Oh, I see what I'm supposed to have done here. Where'd the other cube go? Where'd my other cube go? Oh, there he is. What? Where is this cube, man? Is it too high? It's too high. Okay, uh... No, not a problem. I can fix it. I'll just take it with me. Yeah, that'll work. No need to use the gravity things on myself at all. go. Now we just pull it back. Actually, where is the exit? I think that's a good question, don't you? Do I have to go back out from whence I came? Was the whole point of this just to leave upside down? I think that might have been the whole point of this exercise. Um... How do I get back? What's the best way to do this? I suppose this works? What the? Oh, it's the stupid funnel bug. That's- that's another engine bug. 
I hate that it happens just completely at random when you're not expecting it. It's the funnel just dropped me. It just drops you at random. No idea why that happens. What? It happened again? Are you kidding me? Okay, let's try this again, shall we? And no more funnel bugs, hopefully. So our goal is to get up there. There we go, that works for me. So now... I should just be able to do this. Yeah, that works. And obviously we're gonna need the cube as well, so let's take it with us. I'm so sorry, Cube. I tried to take you with me, but I could not. Oh no, the door closed! Looks like the cube is trapped in here forever. Apparently that's the exit. It's got the, uh, it's got the time trial finish for some reason. Apparently your portal gun actually hits that as if it's a solid object. I never knew that. Goodbye, cube. <laughs> well, that was a cool concept. But, uh, there were some definite issues with the way it was implemented, in my opinion. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!